behind that, but I like them. All right, this is cool. All right, so uh, I don't know why people brag about being single. Like, it's not fun being lonely. I don't like that at all. I don't know. I, don't, I was single for three years. You know what I noticed after being single for three years? I noticed the longer I'm single, the lower my standards get, all right? For real. I was really picky in the beginning. I'm like, she got to look like this. She got to have this. Now I'm like, who needs teeth? You know, like you, you smile with your heart, and that's all that matters. I'm saying, because I was an ugly kid growing up. Like, I feel all right now, but when I was a kid, I was like surprisingly ugly. Like, if you looked at me too fast, I'd mess you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From age seven to 14, my nickname was, ah! That's my name. I didn't even tell people, they just knew it sometimes. <laughs> That's why me and my ex broke up, because we, we wanted kids, but we couldn't have any kids. Kind of sad, uh, unless we adopted. That's the only way we can have children, which I do plan on adopting at least one child. I feel like everyone should adopt. If everyone adopted, there'll be no need for foster care, right? So I do, yeah. So I do plan on adopting, uh, but I do want two biological children of my own. Uh, me and my ex couldn't have any, it's kind of sad, because my ex, she has, a, she has a huge forehead, and I don't want to pass those genes down to my children, okay? Yeah, you're not gonna have my kid looking like Jimmy Neutron, so I was like, we, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love Tyra. It's just, you know, I, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's cool. Like when I see I wave, she waves back, hi, hi, it's Ty Ty, you know, it's good. You know, it's all good. Just saying that, you know, she got a big forehead, I got some big old lips. If we had a son, his face would be in 4D, is what I'm saying, right? And he was getting fights all the time, kids are yelling at him, get out of my face, you know? He, he'd be like, I'm across the street, man. My daddy got big lips. <laughs> it's so funny, people used to make fun of my lips as a kid all the time. You got some big lips, you got some soup coolers. You got this and that, I'm like, shut up, okay? I bet I never drown, I bet that, all right? I like my lips. Women like big lips. Fellas, if you making out with your girl and she can breathe, she ain't happy, okay? She not, she don't like that. Women love big lips. You ever see a girl do a selfie? They always do like, they always do a duck face. Do duck, yeah. I don't know how women duck faces. I've never seen a duck and thought that's a sexy looking duck. Like, stop. No one's driving past Paul's like, yeah, that's it. Like, no one's doing that. I think kids are cool, though. I think kids are really cool. Uh, they, they can be annoying sometimes because they're really cute. You know, I got a four-year-old cousin. Her name is Peyton, right? She looks at me in front of a whole bunch of friends and family. She says, hey, preacher, why are you so ugly? And then she did the robot, right? <laughs> so everybody was dying. It's so funny when a four-year-old calls me ugly and does a robot. It's hilarious until I say something back to her, like, that's why your mama don't know who your daddy is. <laughs> And <laughs> then she wanna cry, you know, like she crying. She started yelling at me, crying, yeah, your mama don't know who your daddy is either. Like, psych, my mom do know who my daddy is, you know. She just don't know where he's at, you know, like she know him. My name is Preacher Lawson, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You, you don't need more tape than that? <laughs> I have something to say, but first I'm going to go to Simon. Awkward, <laughs> very awkward. Mm -hmm. Preacher, I don't know what's happened in your life, why you haven't had the big break yet, because like I said last time on the show, why have you not got your own sitcom? Why aren't you doing major, major gigs? Because to me, I'm not an expert on this, but... If you can come on stage and make the whole place laugh and feel comfortable and like you and get to know you and you're original, that means you've got it, and you've got it. Thank you so much. Howie? You know, Simon's saying, why don't you have it? You are about to get it. You are going to get everything you ever dreamed of. I'm telling you, Tyra introduced you and said you only show up with a mic and all these other people have all these different things. You show up with a mic, you show up with personality, you show up with a ton of talent, you show up with your own material. You have almost more than anybody else on the stage. America has to recognize that, they gotta vote, and I gotta see you in the final. Mel B, what do you think? 